So I'm looking at um, some facts about the government in Massachusetts because a lot of people are saying that the strategy that Mitt Romney was going to run on was how Obama ran, or President Obama ran the economy down to the ground, which me personally, I think that's a little bit of a stretch, you know, but um, only because people are acting like they're saying, oh, there's no jobs, oh, there's no jobs. And the main people saying that there aren't any jobs are the people that have jobs. And that's kind of like, really? You have a job. You know, and the people who don't have jobs, they're, you know, not really complaining that much about it. They're like, hey, look, I, you know, I'm looking for a job. And probably because they realize, one, the reason why they lost their job in the first place, you know, or two, um, they they see the companies that they're going to apply for and they probably know like well they didn't hire me because there was like they wanted somebody that had this or they wanted somebody that had that you know um because i don't think it's that's the reason why the country is i don't think the country is run down to the ground first off and if it were i don't think it would be because of job loss only because um people are always going to have to find a way to get money somehow they're going to survive you know and um I don't really see that many people um, down and out like we're third world country or anything. Well, I'm in the Delta in Greenville, Mississippi, and it's kind of like a third world country, but it's been like that since way before Obama, so that doesn't have anything to do with him. Um, but I'm speaking on the rest of the world, you know. But anyways, I'm looking at their website, and I see that they ranked 47th in job growth. Now I'm reading off of thinkpress.org. Okay, and I've never been to this website before, but I just was Googling and it looked it interested, interesting, so I clicked on it. But, um, you know, if that's not the correct placement of job growth, then maybe someone can put a comment down and um, put the correct placement. But from this website, they rank 47th in job growth, and um, it was like 0.9%, and um, it says that they suffered the second largest labor force decline in the nation, and the first was Louisiana, because they were ravaged by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Um, it says that they lost 14% of its manufacturing jobs. Okay, 14% of their manufacturing jobs during Romney's time in office, according to SUM. Whatever SUM is, it's S-U-M dot. I don't know what that is, so whoever SUM is or whatever SUM is, that's what the source is. But, um... It says that it was double the rate of that of the nation as a whole in manufacturing jobs. Um, it says that they've experienced below average economic growth and was often near the bottom. Again, some SUM told the Washington Post in February. And as a result, the state, the state was more comparable to Rust Belt states like Illinois, Michigan, and Ohio um, as it was to other high-tech economies with typically that it competes with. Um, it also says that um, they piled on more debt than any other state. It says Romney left Massachusetts with 10,504 in per capita bond debt. That was the highest of any state in the nation when he left office in 2007. The state ranked second in debt as a percentage of personal income. 
it says that Romney regularly omits these statistics from Massachusetts record, instead touting the fact that he's balanced the state budget. Okay, so that's what is it's saying about Romney and what he did for the economy in Massachusetts. Um, that's bullcrap, <laughs> if, if that's true. Um, because that means that everything that he's running on, it wouldn't be a good idea because all the Obama campaign would have to do is find the records and, um, and put them out there you know, whether it be on commercials or in the debates, and just call Mitt Romney out on those with the facts. So that would be like, hmm, not good for Romney to run on if his record is like that. But, so if he doesn't run on that, then what is he going to run on, you know? Um, I can't tell you who to vote for, but I don't particularly like the guy's demeanor, so I'm not going to vote for him. Um, and aside from demeanor, it looks like he can't run a state, and um, I don't like the Mormon religion. Um, I'm not saying that I don't like Mormon people, I love everybody, but I don't like the religion, because I don't think that some old guy uh, got some revelation from Jesus out there in the desert digging in some hole in the ground or whatever it is and they also think that blacks are cursed with dark skin so I'm not really a big Mormon person um yeah so vote for who you want to vote for but just make sure you look up actual facts and try to do research on which um what the candidates can can do for you, you know. But whatever you do, vote. Get your vote out there. And if you do need a job, you know, if you if you don't have any money, this is my website at www.easypaycheecknow.weebly.com. It's below in the description, and um, you can make about eighty dollars a day extra, which. I'm quite sure nobody will turn away since we're so in poverty over here. All right, thanks.